everybody this is Hemantika I am very excited to be here presenting at Hugo conference for second time in a row I hope all of you are having as much fun as me listening to those amazing talks and trying my hands out with Hugo in my talk we will be seeing how you can build yourself a portfolio site with Hugo it's going to be a very short and crisp talk as I walk you through the different steps of building a portfolio for yourself moving forward let's see what we have in today's agenda the first one is introduction where you will get introduced to me next we'll talk about why you should use Hugo if you are still not convinced after the multiple sessions I'll tell you why it's a great option for your portfolio third I will show you a demo about how you can build yourself a portfolio step by step and it sh you should see how easy it is so that's me here that's me on the right side of my slide as well hi i'm hemantika mitra if you want to know more about me go to your terminal type npx space hello hyphen hemantika that you'll get a bio about me but other than that i am somebody who comes from india and I am also a developer advocate at AppRite. So you'll often find me fidgeting with code, sometimes communities and also content. So if, whether it be it blogs or video content, I am not great at it, but I love making those. Other than that, you'll also find me on social media by the name Hemantika everywhere. I am either writing about tech or life. Sometimes you'll also find me writing different takes on my newsletter but other than that that's me that's me who will be here with you for the next 15 to 20 minutes and showing you to build a portfolio for yourself moving forward i'll well let's discuss in brief what are we building today i guess i have mentioned it twice or thrice already but to just give you a little more brief about that we are building a developer portfolio using hugo and github github pages basically to show how you can host it using your github pages because my portfolio is hosted using github pages you can use any hosting platform of your choice to do that it's basically very simple to do it next here are some prerequisites first is an id of your choice next is to have hugo pre-installed even if it's not pre-installed i'll show you how it's done it's just one single command but be notified that my machine is a mac and if you are on windows or a different machine the command will be different but don't worry the hugo documentation has it all covered so it's nothing very difficult for you next a github account so like i mentioned we will be hosting using github pages which is why you need a github account moving forward here is my three big reasons why you can choose hugo and the first one is speed and performance well it's a static site so you just need to go ahead and type the name of your portfolio and it will show up for you lightning fast speed so it definitely provides a good user experience next the ease of deployment you'll see when i do that using github pages but other than that it's pretty simple to do it with any hosting service basically Next, customization is also a great bonus of Hugo. You can make or customize it as much as you want. It's super easy and a lot of fun. And the flexibility is also there. So it totally depends on you as to how you want to represent your portfolio. So you have the entire ownership on doing that. Other than that, why I really like Hugo is because the learning curve isn't very high. You can just get started with the documentation and know how easy it is if you don't believe me in the next few minutes i'll show you how it's actually done because i will be following the hugo documentation and step by step and you'll see how you can do that very easily in a few minutes so these are my top reasons to choose hugo and if you're ready i think it's time to put your coding gloves on and do some code but before that i would like to show you my portfolio which i built using hugo it's a pretty simple and minimal one i like it that way my home page gives you a brief about me my social media profiles my newsletter links then since i'm a developer advocate i also have a list of my talks some articles and then the finally a contact page where you can set up a coffee chat with me don't worry if you are not able to note 
down the portfolio link right now it's anyway it's samantika.com but i do have a qr code to send of my talk which you can go ahead scan and connect with me but i think that's all for now and we can straight away go to your id of choice you'll just now see which one is my favorite and ta da that's vs code so i'm here on my terminal it's right there it's opened up for me and what i want to do is to show you the installation command i already have kubo installed but i'll just show you how it's done on a mac you just need to if you have the homebrew package you just need to type pro install kubo and well oh it says that the directory is not there sorry i have to go to my messy demo yes messy desktop i meant and maybe we can open a new folder and name it as hobo conf sorry to then i'll go to my vs code and i'll open my folder which is basically it's there and in development and it's called hobo conf 2 yep it's right there Great. So I'll open my terminal here, and now I'll write pro install hugo, and I hope that works. Yes, it's downloading for me. If it has any updates, it will show. But for my particular case, it has no new updates, so we are all ready to go. Now, going back, I will be using the quick start documentation of hugo for this particular example. You just need to Google quick start hugo, and this is the page that you will get. We have already installed Hugo. I already have Git on my machine. If you don't have, it's highly recommended that you do. Next, what I'll do is I'll copy this command, which is basically creating a new site. And for this particular example, we will be using Quick Start. Going back, yes, I'll paste it here, and well, the new directory, the Quick Start directory, is created. Now, I we need to do a cd Quick Start Git in it. Oops. So I'll do cd quick start and then initialize an empty repository. If you already have a repository, you can just code directly there, and you don't need to initialize anything or an empty repository. But for this particular case, since we are following the quick start tutorial step by step, I'll be doing exactly as it is shown here. Next, what we need to do is we need to add a theme. in this example you have a theme called ananke but you can go ahead and choose any themes that you want for example i have one open here which is called paper mod you can go to themes.gohugo.io and there are multiple themes available you can choose any one that you like and there is no boundary on that so since we are following the quick start tutorial we'll just go ahead with what's what's there in it already and that's the ananke theme so I'll go ahead and I'll paste the command. It is adding the theme for me. Da 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 da. And you see that it has added the theme. The next step that we need to do is in this HTML file, we need to add another line. Basically, we need to tell Hugo that the theme that you have now is Ananke. You can either do that manually or you can choose the echo command, and you can do that as well. So we do this. Paste. and you have it next is we need to set up the server so we do hugo server and you see it's rendered in my local host so this is how it's done that's that's it that's how simple it is to have with your first site rendered the next steps that we have is to basically add some content to it so what we'll do is we'll go back to our documentation and if you want a more detailed explanation of what each of these commands do you can scroll down to the bottom of the like basically where i'm in right now of the tutorial or the documentation and read what it does and well the next step is to add some content so i'll go ahead and copy this sorry i'm going back to my own code of portfolio but yes this is the one that we are building so i'll go right here i will paste the command and you'll see that under content i have 
my first markdown file created so if you are using hugo for the first time it is to let you know that hugo uses the markdown convention so if you are new and have absolutely no clue about what to do with hugo it's advisable that you know some of the markdown conventions it's not difficult at all it's pretty easy you don't even need to remember it the more practice you have the easier it gets for you but for now let's uh, maybe add a heading and call it introduction oops and sorry and then i can say that hi this is a demo in google conference and then let's add a line breaker and then paste and since it's not my draft i would want to make that as false and that's pretty much it now i want to check it again in my local host and see if the changes have been made so I write the command hugo server hyphen d and to paste i already have it open there you can either click on that link or you can refresh it and you see that it's there so it's there under recent post my first post is the title of it if you want you can change this one here so let's change it and see how that looks this is a test and yes you can see that it, ha it, it has been changed so you can either click here or you can go back and click on read more to see the changes so like i mentioned that you need to know some amount of markdown conventions so this one was written as headline 2 which which is why i had put those two hashtags and then i added a line break which is why you see the three dashes so that's pretty much it that's all that you need to have some content on your portfolio now like i mentioned that hugo is very flexible and highly customizable so you can basically add anything and everything that you want for example in this portfolio which is mine by the way here the articles are something that i'm adding manually but if you are somebody who is very active on different um, blogging sites like dev.2 hash node or medium you can play with the apis get those connected to hugo and have it being done for you automatically so that you don't have to do it manually so the customization and the flexibility is something that you can do but the next step that i'll show you is how you can you convert this markdown files into html files so that finally when you're hosting it it is pushed as html files and not just markdown files so i'll stop it for now and the only thing that you need to do is just write hugo as simple as that so here when you see you see that everything that i have committed so far has been converted into the html files and they are now ready to be pushed so if you have a repository or if you are using some other hosting platforms you know how to do that now i'll show you my code which is basically my actual direct you know sorry which is my actual portfolio so you see that i have some content under articles under talks let me just show you how we can add a new talk so i'll go here and i'll copy the contents for my talk 5 i'll go ahead and add a new file under talk and call it talk6.md and then i will oops not here too bad that i need to i don't know if there there is a short shortcut way to delete all of this but i think i'll just be pressing the delete key until it's all deleted thanks for having patience with me great just give me a second and da -da -da, da -da -da. And that's done now we'll go back to the talk 6 md file and just for the example purpose purpose i'm copying and pasting the same command and then we will check how it looks on localhost so i'll do here and i see since i added a new talk so it's basically it will be my same talk that will be added let's see which talk this is it is how i started my devil career so you, you should have 
two of those let's see how i started me yes as you can see here that since i basically copied my two content from talk 5 to talk 6 so which is why i have the same content posted here for you it will be different content so if you are satisfied with what you see on your local host what you need to do is you need to go back to the code and just write hugo and then it will be converting the markdown into html and finally you need all you need to do is just push it and that, that that's all once you push it to your master branch or any other branch that you are preferring it will be done but for this particular example i will discard all the files because i don't need to push it it was just for example cool so just to give you a brief uh, this is what my repository is uh, please ignore the readme file i didn't add a lot of content but i for you to make use github pages what you need to do is you need to have a repository using your username dot github dot io and then you can go to settings and then add some settings like which one do you want to have as a default branch like i mentioned that if you want to have main or master sorry i was using the previous names so if you are using the main branch as your default branch then that's it if you want to use the dev branch or any other branch then just mention that here and then if you are somebody who is buying a different domain like i did here i bought myself a dot com domain so you need to go to your domain provider add the c name era cause and all of it and just mention it here and pretty much that's it there is nothing else that that's the left to do so that's how easily you can use hugo to build yourself a portfolio site and nothing extra is needed i hope what you found here was simple and i did help you getting over the procrastination of creating yourself a portfolio so that is it for me i hope you enjoyed a lot and if you want to get connected with me so that is the qr code which you can scan to get to my portfolio which is hemantika.com so that also has my social media profiles by the way i'm hemantika everywhere so i'm just a google search away not bragging about it but um, if there is anything that i can do to help with your portfolios or if you're building a portfolio especially after this talk just tweet at me or send a dm or send your post i would love to share them and see them that would make me happy great that's all for me i hope you enjoy this short talk and also demo that i showed so that's me bye bye see you soon